What's wrong? There's good news and there's bad news. Good news is, everything's coming together. Bad news? Ain't gonna make a blind bit of difference to me. Uh, what do you mean? Do you want me to spell it out? No, I guess not. Thanks. Pack, you'll give you a call and explain. The ex-boyfriend of your girl is gonna agree to the divorce terms. Unfortunately, turns out he wasn't our only problem. Some other crap has turned up. I don't think I'll be getting out anytime soon. Been a great laugh. You look after yourself. Yeah. Nico, me and Gracie is waiting for you just off of Frankfurt Avenue in Northwood. Looks like our joyful time with her is coming to an end. That's a fucking tragedy. We should throw her a goodbye party. That's the plan. Hopefully someone might bring a big present for us to this shindig as well. Maybe a big bag of diamonds will help us get over the pain of losing her. We're waiting for you, man. Please make a U-turn where safe. Please proceed to highlighted route. Calculating route. Please make a U-turn where safe. Man. All right, Nico. The exchange is over on Charge Island at the water treatment plant. Motherfucker, damn. Becky, my man. How are you and Gracie getting on? Like a house on fire, ain't that right, Gracie? <laughs> See, she was just telling me how much she loved me. 
What do you think of Nico, Gracie? I fucking know what the fuck I do. Gracie, watch your mouth. Nico's a good friend of mine. Don't say that about him. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! Gracie, you're sweet. I know, I'm too good for him, but sometimes a guy has got to hang out with lowlifes like Nico here. He's got his uses. I'll give you a fucking uses! That's right, he is definitely a bad influence on me. I don't fuck her! Let's fucking get there! Gracie, you all right? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle, we walk back. Then, to send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Nikabelik. How is it? That one ever something is stolen from me? You are not far away. I have never stolen anything from you, Mr. Bulgarin. This man, the big pedic, and his Dominican bitch, they stole my diamonds. And you have been trying to rob the thieves to rob me. Kanchai! you did to that man, but we ain't leaving here without them diamonds. All right, I think I know who's got the ice. So follow me.
backing up, Nico. We put the bastards down. Fuck, Nico, there's some guys up there. Not enough! I'm dropping them. You're going to die, friend! These guys above us! Get them, Nico! Stay close to me, Nico. Ah! The ice has got to be this way. Let's split up. I'll take the high road and you take the low road. You're trapped! We'll let you go if you give them up! <laughs> I'm screwed either way. If I don't give you the diamonds, you kill me here and you take them. I do give you the diamonds, Mr. Bogarin kills me later. I don't nobody having them. Screw all of you. Yeba no isto. You selfish piece of cock-sucking shit! Sucking piece of shit. Shit, I don't want to spend another minute in this crap hole. Let's get out of here. Trouble for nothing. Kidnapping the bitch. Holding on to her. Fighting through them damn Russians. All of that for jack shit. Look on the bright side. At least you got to meet Gracie. Screw that. I got close to knocking her teeth out. That was about it. We ain't got shit now. Maybe we was gonna have to give up them diamonds to fucking Ray Bacino, but we would have got a payday. Now we ain't getting shit. Yeah, but there is no guarantee we would have made any money out of those diamonds anyway. I've got a suspicion those were the ones Ray Bacino got me to handle a while back. They're bad luck. Me and some biker had to try to sell them to a diamond Gracias. dealer, a and it one. turns into a bloodbath. That was when those friends of Gracie's must have gotten them. Stolen from you, did they? No. They stole them from the guys I sold them to. Shit. These diamonds have been trouble since Ray first made me take them out of a trash can for it. It's good they are on their way to a landfill somewhere. The best place for them. The population of Liberty City would have been higher if we had. You might be right, Nico. Whose fucking diamonds were they anyway? They're not Ray's, I can tell you this much. Maybe they belong to this homosexual man. Gracie's friend. Well, I don't know, maybe to Bulgarin. Bulgarin? 
He the motherfucker who busted up our peaceful hostage exchange? What in Christ's name went on back there, anyways? Some time ago, I worked for Mr. Bulgarin in Europe, smuggling people across the Adriatic. The ship sunk. The cargo sunk to the bottom of the sea. I had to swim for my life. Bulgarin lost a lot of money that night, and they needed someone to blame. This was one of the reasons I leave Europe and come here to Liberty City. And now he shows up claiming the ice belongs to him. What are the chances? Our paths crossed back when I was living in Holt Beach as well. My cousin and I moved up to Boham to get away from him and another man called Dmitri Raskolov. That's a real shame. I can see you fitting right in down in Holt Beach, Nico. Probably a good thing you got out, though. Wouldn't have met me if you'd stayed, would you? When you put it like this, I'm one lucky motherfucker, Pecky. Well, Nico, that was a whole lot of effort for no fucking reward. Story of my life. It is the story of a lot of lives, Pecky. I'm getting used to hearing it. See you, Nico. I gotta go break the news to Gerald. At least I'm gonna be on the other side of some bulletproof glass to him. But you know what? I'm still fucking scared. Good luck. Hey, Ray. I got some bad news for you. You weren't the only one who thought they owned those diamonds. Turns out the serious Russian called Bulgarin claims ownership as well. Damn it, Nicky, cut the bullshit! You got them? Where are they? Liberty City dumped? I don't know. They got thrown into traffic. Hey, Roman. You ever wonder if things are just coincidence or if everything is all planned? You mean like when you sleep with two girls on one night and they turn out to be mother and daughter? I mean like this Dominican-looking guy shot up a deal I was trying to make. Then I've kidnapped this girl and we're handing her over for these same diamonds and this Dominican-looking guy is there again. So he steals the diamonds at the deal and then has to give them back for the girl. What's the big deal? It's not as much of a coincidence as the mother and daughter. Thanks for putting things in perspective, Roman. Later on. <laughs> 